A Wake County man who spent 17 years in prison has been exonerated by the North Carolina Innocence Commission in Raleigh. Greg Taylor, who had been condemned to life in prison in 1993, is now a free man. The commission's three-judge panel centered around the testimony of one SBI agent, Dwayne Deaver. Deaver admits to having misrepresented blood test results in the Taylor case. The SBI has announced plans for an internal investigation. Deaver is a major character in the emerging story of the SBI's troubles. At the Bureau's crime labs, where Deaver had been a key agent and trainer, analysts charged with using science to solve crimes have hidden test results or concocted bizarre experiments to shore up a prosecutor's case. I interviewed Tanya Rogers, who was one of the jurors in the Michael Peterson trial. And she said that Deaver's testimony was the most important evidence presented at the trial. Ms. Rogers said that during the jury's deliberations, they started off split, 6-6 uh, six, six or 8-4, but as they, as they talked, the most powerful evidence that moved the jury to come 12-0 for a conviction was that blood stain on the inside of Michael Peterson's shorts. The jury was convinced by Deaver's testimony that the only way the bloodstain could have arrived there was through an assault. 